Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video, we're going to be creating a Wix membership website. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to firstly start off with creating a members area for the website. So you can simply do that by going onto the add apps here. And then what we're going to search up for is members. Now you should see an option here that says Wix members area. I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. And it should say free to install, go ahead and add that to the site. So it'll just take a little minute here just to come in. Perfect. Okay, now you're going to see here that the pages are now pretty much set up here for members. So you can select the discover members area like so, or um, I'll just click X off it. So this is what we're seeing here just to confirm that we have everything that we need. Just go on to the page here and select manage pages. And then you'll see that members area is now available. Now, uh, if you do need to remove it or edit the profile privacy, anything that you need to do there at all, uh, you can. Uh, so you could see the uh, site members, you can ma manage the member pages, you can go ahead and um, select the member signup settings as well. So whatever you need to do, this is pretty much where you uh, change all of that. So it's just on the little gear icon here. Okay, so perfect. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and just create our members area now or just um, change the layout now again it just works the same way as any of the editing tools that you work with or any of the other pages that you're working with uh, to edit out the page so you can see here that you have the option to go ahead and change that layout you can go and select the manage member pages as well. So if you click on that, you'll have the option there to go for the full card. Or let's just click X off that this. Yep, so you can go ahead and go full width or you could just select the cards. So everything is pretty much changeable when it comes to Wix itself anyway. So the reason why we have the members area is because we want to create a subscription for people to purchase, let's just say, a uh, gym membership or a subscription to a bouquet of flowers, whatever you need to use it for. So um, what we'll do first is we'll select the manage member pages. Just have a look at what we're seeing here, okay? So we'll have the option then to have the account. We can have the addresses or the wallet. We can remove the tab if we need to. Now, for all the pages there, you can see their, well, the profile, you've got a custom member page, and the orders as well. So this is pretty much what the member will see if they make a purchase from the website. And again, this is only really needed for an e-commerce site. So once you do customize the actual members area, what we need then is to create the membership plan. So uh, you need to add the pricing plans up. So if you don't already have it, add this through the app here. So we'll just go to add apps. Just double check to see if we have it on this website. There you go. So you should have seen it there. It should say Wix pricing plans. Just go for uh, see more results. Sometimes it doesn't appear straight away. Okay, perfect. So it's this one here. So this is where you can sell packages, memberships, and subscriptions. So this is the one that we, we need. And we'll go ahead and install this if we don't already have it. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and add that to the site. To create the plan, of course, you need to go to the pricing plans in your site's dashboard. And you would create the membership plans you want to offer, whether it's going to be monthly, yearly, or different tiers. So you can have like bronze, silver, or gold tier. Uh, now, to choose the services, just pretty much decide which services or content will be included for each of the plan. Uh, these are all pretty much customizable as well. And you can set the pricing. So just determine the price, uh, duration, and any other options for each of the plans. So we'll just wait for this to fully load. There you go. Okay, so everything is loaded in. Now, sim it's as simple as now selecting the managed plans on the top left here. Just as long as you're hovering over the uh, section, just click on manage plans. Again, it is fully customizable with any of the other pages as well. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you can customize the background, change the way the layout looks. So whatever way you want to set it. Now it's going to open up the dashboard as you can see here. Okay, so go ahead and select get started. And it'll just ask you then to create your first plan. So again, you do need to set up your payment plan as well. So that's one thing. 
on here. So, or not a payment plan, but a uh, payment method. So once you have a payment method the uh, set in place, you want to make sure that you upgrade the website to an e-commerce platform. So uh, what we'll do first is we'll create this plan. So you can see here uh, the plan name at the minute is Silver Membership. Of course, we'll just create three here. I'll just say Bronze. Just make sure you fill up everything that you need here, like the description. It is optional, but I would recommend to add it in. Again, it's really good for keywords as well. Uh, you'll have an option here as well. So tell uh, customers what the main features are. So that's optional. Again, uh, you can add it in if you need to. So the pricing options. So you'll have an option here that says free, a one-time payment, recurring fee. So whether that's, let's just say, we'll put that up to 70. That could be a monthly fee. That could be a weekly or weekly, sorry, monthly, yearly, or custom. So custom one pretty much is where you're repeating it uh, every every day or it could be every week, every month, or every two years. Uh, you'll also have the option there for the length of the plan, so until cancelled. And you can also set up a, uh, or charge a setup fee. And you also have an option there as well to enable a free trial. So the free trial, you can have it for seven days, let's just say, or 14, 30, or you can do a custom one. So uh, really good stuff here uh, for what it offers for the plan anyway. Uh, again. You'll see here for the settings, you can limit it to one subscription per customer. You can allow customers to cancel their subscription if you need to. Let customers set a start date. You can add a policy, collect additional information at checkout, and customize the thank you page. So that's pretty much everything to do with the plan itself. Once you are happy enough, all you need to do is click on save. Now, again, I'd recommend to just add a image on here. You can do that by adding a picture or you can create one on canva whatever way you want to create it we'll just leave it blank let's just do this for you know we'll just do this for weekly uh until cancelled okay perfect so that's the plan created you can see we only have one plan at the minute which is the bronze one for 70 pound a week valid until cancelled so we'll we'll just create three more or two more plans sorry we'll just get a silver one here We'll set the pricing for this one for, we'll do 130 monthly. And then until consult, save. Then we'll just do our last one. So create this plan. Do a gold. Set the pricing for 250 monthly and until consult, save. So once you're happy enough, you can click X off this. Now you should see some changes then on the actual plans and pricing. So this will change. There you go. So now you can see there, you've got your bronze, you've got your gold and you've got your silver. Now uh, you'll have a couple of options as for any of the elements as well. If you do want to expand it uh, throughout the entire screen, you can. You could just go ahead and select stretch and uh, put that for the full width. So it looks a little bit more. So it's pretty much utilizing the entire screen. Again, with the settings here, you'll have a couple of different options again. Just wait for this to load. So this is where you can manage your plans. You can go ahead and change the layout if you need to. Uh, the display, so you can add a page subtitle. You can also highlight a plan as well. So if you want to highlight, let's just say the gold one. As you can see, this is now highlighted. You can show a little ribbon as well for it being the best value. Um, so if we click X off it, you can see there. So we'll just not highlight that plan. Uh, now, with the likes of the, well, I think what would be best to do is, let's just say silver. Yep, and then you can show that ribbon. You can uh, select the disclaimer as well. So that'll just show up below it. And of course, you have the option to change the text as well. The overall design for the text. So you've got your headers there, you've got your paragraphs, and of course, more, more importantly as well, you've got your, your add-ons to add for the pricing list. It's that easy. That is as simple as it gets when you're adding a membership or a pricing plan on Wix. Now, if you do want to set this up for members only, what you need to do is basically create and configure a member-only page. So 
what we'll do here is you can either go to pages and menu or the plans uh, or the page itself here in the top. So click on that. You'll have an option then to manage the pages. So hover over pretty much the relevant page that you want. So whether that's going to be on the site menu, let's just say, for example, and let's select it for our mission. So this is where, this is only where members can see this, not the, the public or the general public that hasn't paid for a plan. So you just click on the three little dots on the far right side. And what you want to select here is settings. And then you'll have an option here in the top where it's going to be like page info, layout and permissions. So with the permissions, then you want to go ahead and select site members. And you'll see here, uh, all members, customers and site collaborators will have access. Now you can choose specific members. If you want it just with people that have selected a plan or subscription, just toggle this and then you would just select a manage plan. And then you would select that in for gold or sorry, bronze, silver, or gold. So I'll have this for a gold member. So this could be like, let's just say uh, a page with different videos. So say you've got a subscription, they've unlocked that for a week, a month, or a year worth of like different videos or information or blogs, anything like that. Um, and then with the likes of... The other plans like bronze or silver, you can have a different page specifically just for that. So there could be like three missions or three mission pages or our mission pages, uh, one for bronze, one for silver and one for gold. And only the members with a plan are able to actually see these pages. But there you have it guys, that is pretty much how to create a members page on Wix. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching.